Hi, I'm Bob in Osterhout. I want to talk to you about uh, common patterns of tension and how they can become habits and how that contributes to the stress response and interferes with your effectiveness in whatever you might be doing. Uh, tension becoming a habit uh, is particularly a problem because we're not aware of it. Uh, just by the nature that it's a habit, we lose awareness of it. Things that we do all the time or are there all the time we, we don't uh, pay attention to anymore and lose awareness of. Uh, for example, uh, I don't think about having a ring on my finger because it's been there for 25 years. Uh, I feel it when it's gone, actually. Uh, and if you wear the same kind of watch all the time, then you're not aware of that or glasses or anything like that. So if you have a pattern of tension that's become a habit, let's say some people have their shoulders raised like this, this can really contribute to headaches because these muscles are working. I'm not going to do that very long because it hurts. Um, and, but that can become a habit and they walk around like that all the time and wonder why they have headaches. Uh, and it, uh, tension always contributes to the stress response uh, because stress creates tension and that's why stress is a problem. Uh, so even if you take care of the stressors and get rid of them, if you still have the pattern of tension, you're continuing to build tension just out of habit and that also has a negative effect. So it's, it's very helpful to become aware of how and when you tense and try to break up those habits uh, by finding alternate balancing techniques that you can use to, uh, to put your body basically back into neutral. When your body is in neutral, you're supported by your, your skeleton. Your skeleton is holding up your weight. Your bones are doing the work. Bones are much stronger than muscles. When muscles have to work, if they're not moving, they go into tension and that creates a lot of problems. Uh, so uh, anytime that your body is not supported by your skeleton, you're building up tension in some way. Now one of the most common that you see is people sit forward in a chair and then kind of slump back and then the shoulders also come forward and the head comes forward. So they'll sit like this, okay? Now I'm tensing in my lower neck my lower, my, the back of my neck, my lower back. Actually, there's some tension in my, in my upper legs here as well. Okay, and I'm not going to do this very long because it hurts. So I'm going to go back to neutral where my pelvis is centered and I'm sitting on my sit bones. Okay, uh, so the, the pelvis is solid on the chair. My spine comes up from the pelvis. My head sits on top of my spine. My shoulders hang from my head. The bones are doing the work. Now I'm not doing, not tensing in this position. Okay. Now, a, a real common thing that happens because people are looking at computers, and I do it because in counseling I lean forward a lot, uh, is that this, okay, and it's easier to see from the side, there's a tendency to lean forward like this. Uh, so often I lean back during a session, okay, and I'll just do that because I feel that pull. And, and the shoulders tend to slump forward when we do that, so after a session I'll raise my shoulders up bring them back and let them drop. And now they have their natural position because gravity just takes them and puts them where they wanted to go. So you raise them up, bring them back, let them drop. Because the tendency is to bring them forward. That creates a whole pattern of tension that even gets up into your head. Okay. Uh, so when you have a solid base, then everything can build up from there. That also is true of your feet. Uh, it's very common for people to tense their feet and they'll pull up their heels uh, when they start talking about something stressful and they just sit like this in a normal position. And my legs are just working incredibly hard to hold this position and creating a lot of tension and discomfort. So having your feet flat uh, provides a solid base. And if you turn your toes in, you're creating tension on the outside of your legs. If you turn your toes out, you're creating tension on the inside of your legs. Put your body in neutral, okay? Have your toes pointing straight ahead. Your pelvis is solid on the chair. Your muscles don't have to work. You can use that energy for something else. And the tension doesn't interfere uh, with whatever else you're doing and doesn't add extra stress and, and distraction and distortion uh, to how you are dealing with things and, and what you can accomplish. So uh, becoming aware of patterns of tension and how you tense uh, is a very valuable thing. And you can do that by keeping yourself in neutral as much as possible and just being aware of how you deviate from that. You'll feel uncomfortable, okay? So sitting in neutral, if my habit is like this, I'm gonna feel, my lower back is gonna feel a little uncomfortable and maybe my shoulders, okay? That's because I'm not used to it. 
but now this is the neutral position and and if you move and always return to neutral that will become uh, your natural position and it's the natural position in terms of how our body is put together but it becomes your natural position in what you do naturally in, 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 in most situations which means you're less likely to build up tension and when the tension does start to build you recognize it and can stop it but you also recognize that there's a stressor going on somewhere that might be contributing to that. Maybe you're getting tired, maybe uh, there's something where you're putting pressure on yourself or or there's a conflict starting to brew and the sooner you recognize that uh, the sooner you can deal with it effectively so your body is really like kind of a barometer and as stress levels come up oh there's something here to be dealt with you first you get the tension down and then you look around and, and think about how to solve the problem so I hope that's helpful to you good luck